Hello and welcome to this Warcraft replay. This is going to be a best of three series. Um, the first game is underway, and we have an orc versus undead matchup um, from the YSL round robin. So yeah, I really need to get these things done, but I guess you know, no pressure for me at least. So um, that's probably why I'm pretty lazy with these replays. But anyway, in the bottom left we have Fly 100%, uh, spawning in as the Red Orc player, and his opponent is going to be uh, World Elite Ted, spawning in as the Blue Undead in the top left. <coughs> so Undead vs Orc, um, one of those rare matchups we see. I think nowadays um, the rarest matchup would either be an Undead Mirror or an Orc Mirror. I think that's, to be fair, um, the most rare, I think. I think Orc Mirror is the more rare one, because I think we still have a couple of undead players that still um, play, or at least in the competitive scene. Um, but yeah, either way, looks like it's just going to be the Crypt to Relic's Graveyard, and we are going to go for the Death Knight first. It does look like it's going to be the just the ordinary opening coming in from Ted, no graveyard first um, nonsense and Fly is also going to go for a pretty standard build as well um, Blade Master he didn't, he didn't opt to go for any Farseers, he didn't opt to go for a Tavern Hero per se um, it is just going to be the um, ordinary Blade Master and of course um, Blade Masters do work very well unless um, they get pressured and harassed a little too much in the early stages of the game and that's generally how undead players would like to play um, if they go Death Knight first so hopefully maybe Tid will do that anyway third ghoul has been completed I'm pretty sure Tid is just going to hold off um, on that crypt and well just make more fiends as soon as he has the resources to do so blade master is going to kill off this null brute um, definitely for the the tome that it will drop and it didn't drop a tome that's because this is the wrong map um, this is this is twisted meadows okay um, I got the map wrong I th was thinking it was um, what was I thought it was Secret Valley for some reason, but it is Twisted Meadows. Um, that would make sense. This map was kind of weird to be Secret Valley. Um, anyway, we do have a couple of skeletons uh, slipping through the gold line. Um, don't look like um, they will be able to kill much. And very nicely done that the grunt got uh, both of the killing blows. The Blade Master did receive a little bit of experience from uh, those particular kills. Of course, uh, summon units don't exactly give 100% of uh, the experience that you would typically, typically gain uh, from that leveled unit. And of course, skeletons are level 1 units. Um, and of course, level 1 units give 25%, uh, 25 points of experience. So if you did not know that, then definitely could uh, keep that in the back of your mind. As surprisingly enough, that Ted has not gone for um, aggression, uh, and he did pick up the item thankfully. Um, yeah, but still, very surprised he didn't go for for aggression. I'm pretty sure. Um, that fly doesn't have that much to defend with back at his base. He, his blade master has pretty much gone to the opposite ends of the map to just pick up scraps of creep as much as he can. I mean, back to back he's gone for these null brutes over here just to get that little bit of experience. But he did accumulate enough experience um, in order to gain level two, so uh, it's not too troublesome, I guess. <clears throat> Both players starting out, I guess, rather differently than, I guess, how these players would normally start out. Um, Blade Master, Death Knight, usually one of those two, or usually those heroes that tend to 
stick to level 1 for whatever reason, maybe it's just because um, creeping's not generally the focus of that particular race, but uh, both players are going to go for that uh, mentality instead. Uh, Holes of the Dead is nearly completed. We will probably have that Lich coming out second because his Frost Armor will greatly reduce the damage output that the Blade Master will um, obviously deal. And four Grunts versus, I think, four Crypt Fiends. Uh, potentially the Crypt Fiends um, <coughs> could be stronger, but the Grunts are, of course, um, beefier, they obviously hit a lot more against those Griffins because they have that um, attack type advantage. But anyway, Blade Master getting himself the Cloak of Shadows as well as uh, which item did he pick up? I believe it was the Potion of Greater Mana. Oh, rather unfortunate that the healing salve was interrupted, but no matter. Anyway, both players getting very close to level 3 already on their first heroes. Um, that's generally all I could actually talk about. Bestiary, no spirit lodge just yet for Ted. He is going for a war mill, so he might... Uh, not Ted, Fly. Um, he might go for maybe a couple of watchtowers to defend his base, just against those pesky little skeletons. Or he might just go and add like one or two troll headhunters into his army mix. Um, <clears throat> I guess you could say we had, we have Fly kind of doing that um, recently. So yeah, let's see how this will go. One man of ceiling as well as plus three intelligence has been dropped by the rock golem. Level 3 has been gained for the Death Knight. He is also being accompanied by that Lich that I have mentioned before. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Blade Master extremely fast with his boost of speed wind walk. And he did sell the Cloak of Shadows for um, a set of dust. He's probably expecting the burrow upgrades to be completed for those Crypt Fiends. So just picking that up as a precautionary action right there. Raider has been spotted but I uh, will be able to just run past the undead army, although it did spot pretty much the undead army. Um, Coda Beast is being queued up. I would probably defend this as soon as that Coda Beast comes out. Um, so yeah, there we go with the engage. Death Coil will be used on the Crypt Fiend. Raider did go for the ensnare, so it won't be able to escape for a while. Hex um, also picked up by the Shadow Hunter as well, so that does show um, Ted that healing is definitely not going to be an option for the orc army so as long as he can um, outlast and pretty much just heal all his units um, he will be set. Crypt Fiend will it be able to run away? It does not look like it was able to. <clears throat> um, nice pickup right there from Fly but however on Ted's side he's managed to pick up a couple of good kills as well. Um, so far we've reduced the grunt count to two and we've pretty much eliminated all the raiders, which I believe were two present, so yeah. The Coda Beast did pop out, so it did digest, or it did consume one of those Grip Fiends. But as you can see, without Healing Wave, um, or at least Spirit Walkers to try and uh, reduce the damage and spread it around, um, without that it's pretty much... Um, the, unit, the low hit point units are pretty much at the mercy um, of Ted. Uh, level 2 has been gained, so Healing Wave is now available. One of Mana Stealing is, of course, also in the inventory of Shadow Hunter, so he might use it, he might not. The Death Knight is pretty much low mana anyway. The Obsidian Statues are trying their best to not only heal, but also try and uh, replenish that mana as well. So, the Spirit Touch is going to be rather useful for the Undead Army. Um, but we do have the Wand of Mana Stealing, oh, no, not Wand of Mana Stealing, Frost Armor is just being spread around to the entirety of the Undead Army, pretty much, I'm actually surprised that the Death Knight didn't receive a Frost Armor, um, when that Blade Master was focusing it, but, eh, nevertheless, um, it does look like Ted does have the upper, upper hand in this fight, he still has plenty of Crypt Fiends, and 
I mean, he has to sustain too. Three Obsidian Statues. That's kind of excessive, but... Um, <clears throat> um, lots of sustain is always very good. Surprisingly enough, we do have Fortress Tech, and we have not yet seen a Spirit Lodge be placed down, so it might... this... I mean, Ted has an incomplete infrastructure right now. Um, nowadays, for orcs and humans, and especially night elves as well, producing off one production building is generally not that efficient um, compared to two, obviously. And of course, you do have the economy to kind of support it, but it's rather surprising that Fly has not gone for that. Otherwise, um, the only other explanation is that he could not afford to do it. Maybe it's because of this um, rather aggressive attack, or maybe it's because of the early fortress. Who knows, but right now uh, Fly has been pushed away from his main base. He's lost a couple of peasants, uh, peons as well, so um, if he does manage to push this attack away, it is going to be rather suffering, or uh, sufferable, whichever word. It's going to be pretty hard to try and come back, because he did lose um, a lot of workers as well. Anyway, um, six, six Crypt Fiends are now in the part of the army of Fla uh, Ted. We do have a seventh one coming out. Tunis actually did fall, but it did kind of take a long time uh, for Fly to actually take that one down. Shadow Hunter nearly close to getting surrounded, but thankfully was able to just slip through. Raider is now out. Not sure how much help that will be. That will just allow the Obsidian Statue to get ensnared. But the Nova Coil combo did um, burst him down to incredible amounts and able to kill the Blade Master in just one f fell swoop. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this first game. Second game will be up very soon, hopefully. And yeah, see you guys then.